Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, can I hear it? Oh, I'm such a cornball. Um, yes. Yeah, so in this video, I'm super excited to film this video, just because. Listen, me personally, I never get tired of warm tones. Um, I feel like it's so many palettes can come out with different warm tones, and I'll still be down and interested. Like the 3500, 3500, the 350, every other palette. Like there's like a lot of oh, like the Kylie um, Burgundy palette. Like there's a lot of like brands and stuff out there that come out with the same warm tones. I'm gonna be filming around the new Urban Decay Naked Palette. So this was sent to me by Urban Decay. Now, let me just say something really quickly. So I do get PR from Urban Decay, but I don't get everything from Urban Decay. Like I know I follow like all of my favorite like beauty bloggers on like Snapchat and they get different packages than I do. Like for an example, they got um, like all of those hot cheetos like i don't know if you guys seen that but like all the big beauty bloggers like it said i think i was gonna get this but when i did i lost my mind i recorded the whole thing on snapchat so if you guys don't follow me on snapchat i'll link it right here for you guys but yeah i'm just so excited and happy that they sent this to me so we have the eyeshadow palette these are actually eye pencils i thought that they were um lip pencils but they're not and then these are lipsticks down here so let's just get right into the i'm so excited can you just tell talk about packaging moment of silence for the packaging like what i love it i don't care what anybody says and then these are the colors I'm not going to swatch them for you. I just want you guys to see how they... Oh, wait. I'm, I'm blinding you. Oops, sorry. I, I just want you guys to see the colors. Like, yes, a lot of brands came out with these, but... Oh, let's just jump right in and do a look. So, I did not practice, like, what I'm going to do. I'm just going to freestyle it and see what happens. So, I'm super excited. So, thank you to Urban K for sending this to me. So, I'm probably going to do my eyebrows off camera. But if you guys want to know, I'm using Dip Brow by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Chocolate. So I'm going to do my brows off camera and I'll see you guys in a few. I'll see a palette. I'm going to dip into this shade right here. And I'm just going to put that on the lid just to, um, you know, make it up as a base. With the palette now, I'm going to take the shade Chaser, which is the second shade in the palette. And I'm going to use that to set all over my eye. I'm going to use the Urban Decay brush that it comes with. Because I think it's a good brush. What I was saying is that the mirror in this looks so clear. Like, oh my god. So I'm going to take my Morphe M441 and I'm going to mix Sauced with Low Blow. Wow, these colors, like, look how much that is right there. That's a lot of color. I'm just going to put those two in the crease. Okay, then on the center of my eye, I'm going to take the color Scorched and I'm going to put that on the lid. Oh my god. Okay. Look at that. Okay. Oh. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so for the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with this step one equalizer. This is the smoothing primer. And I'm going to put this all over my face. Lashes, I'm going to be wearing. They're by Vegas Nay. They call Glam, Glam, Gl Grand Glamour. Sorry. Okay, so lately I've been mixing my L'Oreal foundation with the Pro Matte and the Pro Glow. Because I don't like to be too matte, but I don't like to be too glowy. So I honestly mix these two and put it all over my face. Um, this one is actually too light, and this one is too dark, so I like to mix them as well. I'm not going to put a lot. I'm just recently, I'm trying to put on not so much foundation, foundation on my skin. Just 
this might be too much but all right now it's time to blend i'm not gonna add any more i miss this beauty blender this um is by real techniques if you guys are wondering Oh, it's a little too orange. Ooh, sorry. Oh, it's really orange. Oh man, no. Okay, so I'm just gonna add. Now I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color light medium, and I'm going to highlight. concealer you always have to take your time with but if you don't it could just look crazy I have a lot of makeup on and it's like at 90 degrees outside how about we take this all off honestly Oh my god, I have a lot of makeup off outside. I just I just keep looking outside and looking at me. I'm like, girl. It's a lot. Okay, so now I'm just gonna set my under eye. I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild contour palette. It was like the closest thing near me, and I didn't feel like reaching over. So I have Pam. So exciting. And yeah, I'm just gonna set under eye. Okay, so for my under eye, I'm gonna take this eye pencil and torch. I'm so excited to use this. I've never put anything like this in my waterline, so this should be interesting. All right. So I love the pop of colors, like so orangey. Oh. And then just to soak it out a little bit um, underneath my eyes, I'm going to take the, the color He Devil, which is like kind of like a like a dark orange, I guess you could say, and just smoke it out a little bit. Then to highlight my brows in my inner corner, I'm going to use... Um, the lightest shade in the palette. Let's see. I'm gonna put bottom mascara with Big Shot by Maybelline. I'm gonna put some down there. Now I'm just gonna bronze up my skin a little bit. I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Back to the Wet n Wild palette, and I'm going to bronze up my skin a little bit. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe 527. I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild um, palette and I'm gonna bronze up my skin. gonna go in with the Nicole Guerrero palette and I'm gonna take go go getter <laughs> to highlight Lastly, for the lips, I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay um, Fuel Cream. This is part of the Heat Collection as well. I'm going to put that on my lips.
Yeah, this is the finished look. I'm not going to use any setting spray because I just realized lately because it's been getting hot. And when I spray my face, um, my makeup looks like it starts to crumble and my pores start to show. So I'm not going to spray anything. I'm just going to leave it like this. It would make the look a little more better. But I'm not going to do that right now. So, yeah, the if I had to say my, fin my final thoughts on the palette, um, the palette is a little chunky. It does have a little fallout, but I mean, I feel like majority of palettes do. Um, and the colors blend really well. I really like it. Um, if you already have a bunch of palettes like that are war are like warm tones i wouldn't recommend this but if you're like a makeup lover like me and you have like twenty thousand million um warm tone palettes then i think this is worth it um as for the lipstick amazing this is called fume i love this feel i love this it's very creamy and i feel like it fits me really well it's not too light the liner it blends so nicely it went like across the eye like smoothly i love the liners they're really good and yeah i believe the collection comes out june 30th i'm not too sure it didn't have a date but i do follow trend mood one if you guys know who she is she's like a like a makeup news type of page but yeah this is the look i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave any comments down below and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys